Hi and welcome to Scott Bryant on YouTube. Uh, this video is all about irritable bowel syndrome or IBS or gut problems which many hundreds of thousands of people are suffering with and they're suffering in silence or they're going to the doctor and the doctor's going oh you've got an incurable problem that you'll never be able to get rid of you've just got to put up with it and that is all bullshit you can change it you can get it your gut to get healthier but it takes time and it costs money to be able to do that if you're seeing somebody like me so i'm a functional diagnostic nutritionist i'm a metabolic typing advisor and i'm a master check practitioner i've been helping clients for 19 years get over their health problems and health uh, issues as long as they're willing to take the time and put the energy in in which to get the change okay so the first thing with ibs is that we've got to look at your diet and lifestyle and the reason why we look at your diet and lifestyle, if you're going to bed too late, that's going to affect your colon and transit time and how your body detoxifies, okay? If you're not exercising, you're not going to be moving the fetal material through the body in which to be able to get it to work properly, okay? If you're eating like a carbohydrate type, but you're a protein type, you're putting the wrong fuel into your body. So it's like the analogy of having a, a petrol car but putting diesel in it, it won't work properly. So this is exactly the same with when you've got IBS. You need to really make sure that you know exactly what the right foods are and what lifestyle changes you may have to make. So in the Gut Brain book, uh, which is a brilliant book, I highly recommend it, it's a really easy read. And in that book it explains where the gut and the brain are connected together right so you got your your uh, your right brain dominance your left brain dominance and then you got the gut brain dominance and then you got a middle brain as well so if these brains are confused and not working this will affect the gut so the next thing with the diet and lifestyle coaching that I do is a 10 day uh, paperwork that you have to fill out is about that much stuff which is looking at have you been away a lot have you been abroad a lot as in, if you've been abroad a lot, there may be a chance that you may have a parasite. Do you know what your what foods work the best in you? So if you're eating like a carbohydrate type, a petrol type, but your body needs uh, gasoline, but you're putting in petrol, it's not going to work right. So really important to get, uh, whether you're a protein type, carb type, or a mixed type, and uh, once you start getting the right foods in, the body starts to balance itself, okay? I've had clients say to me, oh, my fetal material looks much better now, Scott. I'm not seeing food particles in my number twos. So here you go, look, you see food particles in the food, there, in the poo, sorry. So really important that you look at that. Okay, so when your gut health is bad, you're a bad intestinal gardener. But when you get your gut health healthy, your brain becomes much healthier. They found that schizophrenia and dyslexia is linked to bad gut health. Or dyslexia is linked to family tree, but most people that most kids that end up with dyslexia, the mum and dad are heavy smokers and heavy drinkers. So it's linked to that as well. So it's all linked, yeah. So when you got I IBS. The other thing is that uh, you'll get bloating, you'll get farting, you'll get pains in your stomach. All these symptoms you get from having fungal and parasite overgrowth or infestation in the body. And unfortunately, when you go to the doctor and you get a lab test done, they don't look at any of that. Because if they wanted you to do that lab test, that lab test is probably 500 pounds. So because that lab test is so expensive for the national health, they won't do it. Then the other thing that you've got is that when you go to see your doctor, how long are you in there for? You're in there 10 to 15 minutes if you're lucky. If you come and see somebody like me, you're seeing me for weeks and weeks and weeks until we've got you to where you need to be. Okay? There's supplementation involved and lab work involved, and this is really important. If I don't do the supplementation and if I don't do the lab work, I can't see anything. So when you've done the paperwork, it helps me to map what your lifestyle is like. So if you're going to bed at, say, 2 o'clock in the morning, of course your body's not going to be uh, detoxifying properly. Of course your colon and transit time is not going to be correct. So by getting to bed at 10.30 at night, this could be a big help. 
The next thing is, is that in diet and lifestyle, how is your hydration? Are you drinking 0.33 times your body weight in ounces of water a day in which to make sure that your fetal material doesn't look like that? So if it looks like that or looks like rabbit poo, like there or there, or bodybuilding, then that's showing that you're not putting enough fluids inside the system in which to get the bowel to work correctly. As you get more fluids inside your system, you'll end up doing a poopy policeman, okay? On top of that, when you're going number twos, if your number twos really smell, then that's another sign that your intestinal gardening is bad. Your poos should smell earthy, not toxic and stagnant. So if you go into the toilet after your partner's been in there, it's like a wall hitting you, then you know that your <coughs> partner's bowel is not clean. So really important that you get that part of the body healthy. So hydration, hydration. The solution to toxicity is hydration. So as you start to drink more water, you'll see that you'll be going more regular. The gut acids, it will help with the gut acids as well. Okay, so the next thing that you need to do is that you need to find out what foods you're allergic to. So if you're allergic to certain foods, this will cause a reaction inside the gut, an IgEG or an IgA response, which will inflame the gut wall and then affect your bowel. And then give you pain in the gut wall. So as you rebalance your diet and stay away from the offending foods for a period of time, you'll see that your belly will go flatter. You'll see that the pain will go down. But you can't just take away the irritating foods. You need to get the gut healthy again by taking hydrochloric acid, digestive enzymes, and other stuff like that in which to get the gut healthy again. And as you take hydrochloric acid and digestive enzymes, then the body will start to relax. The gut will start to go smaller. So if it's inflamed, you'll see what I see when I put somebody against the plumb line, their belly sticks right out like that. To so say they're up against the plumb line, this is their belly, the belly sticking right out. Over time, inflammation in the gut wall will go down, it will flatten out, and you may see a six pack again. And you'll be going, oh, I've not got as much gas as I used to have. Oh, then pains are not as much. Now, unfortunately, the bigger percentage of us have got parasites. Now, we all have parasites in our body constantly, but you've got good parasites and bad parasites. Now, the bad parasites will keep you awake at four o'clock in the morning. So if you're waking up at two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, this will be due to the parasite waking you up because it's feeding and having lunch on you, and then it's causing toxicity, which is affecting the liver, which then wakes you up, okay? Every client I've worked with, nearly all of them wake up at 2, 3, 4 in the morning. Oh, why is that happening, Scott? Well, did you have breakfast? No, I missed breakfast. Well, did you have a snack in the afternoon? No, I missed the snack. Oh, are you, con are you chronically stressed about work? Yes, I'm chronically stressed about work or my partner. So all these things that you need to look at and rebalance in which to get over IBS. Now, I've done tests with clients and they've had really bad bacteria inside the gut, too much of it, and not enough healthy bacteria. I've had clients with five different parasites and they thought they were going mad. And it wasn't that they were going mad, it is that the, the gut bacteria was so bad that the bad bugs have got in, the bad bugs discrete mitotoxins inside the body, which then mitotoxins, uh, cause disbalance in the way that you're thinking. So by taking uh, good hydrochloric acid, good digestive enzymes, going on a protocol of killing the bugs in the body, and then retraining the body with your colon and transit time, and uh, making sure you get a clear lab in 90 days, then your IBS will disappear. It won't be there anymore. And obviously, if you don't work on the stress in your mind, then that may not work. So you've got to work on the stress. You've got to work on exercising. You've got to work on drinking enough water every day. Okay? But please do not, do not, do not, do not, do not go online and start buying hydrochloric acid. 
I worked with a, a client before and the client had been taking hydrochloric acid. The hydrochloric acid that he was taking, which he bought online, was too powerful for his gut and made a hole in his in gut wall. So that gut wall hole took lots and lots and lots of time in which to reheal again. So when you're taking supplements, do not throw darts when taking supplements. Only take what your body needs and get tested. So I do comprehensive testing with all clients, so I'm not guessing. I'm not going to go out and buy that, go out and buy this, go and do this, because it doesn't work. And lots of people will be taking stuff that they're chronically allergic to. So a client I'm working with at the moment was drinking raw milk. He read online that raw milk was excellent for you. It's full of awesome vitamins and proteins. The guy's in his 30s. Now, I made this mistake as well many years ago. And, you know, drinking raw milk is, is great for you only if you have good bacteria to break down what's in the milk. If your gut is permeable and not working properly, taking these health foods is not a good idea. I had another practitioner was working with somebody else and they were drinking uh, chamomile tea every day. Done a food allergy test on them, was allergic to the food, uh, well, allergic to the tea, sorry. And that's why it's not a good idea to keep doing the same thing every day, day in, day out. So a lot of clients have Kellogg's Corn Flakes every morning and wonder why they ain't got any fucking energy. Of course you're not, it's total carbohydrate. You need protein and carbs in the morning, not just carbohydrate on its own, unless you're a carbohydrate type. So if you're suffering from uh, irritable bowel and you'd like to rectify it for good, and you're willing to put the time and the energy in, in which to get it rectified, please comment at the bottom. Or go to my website on my uh, intensive gut training program and we can get you signed up and we can uh, look at your diet and lifestyle and other factors in which to get your body so it heals itself again. This works 100% but it just takes time and it costs money. It's not cheap because you've got to do lab testing, you've got to buy supplements and the supplements are designed in which to heal the body. Okay? If you go and take antibiotics, so let's say you go to your doctor and the doctor goes, oh, you ain't got irritable bowel, but decides to give you an antibiotic for whatever reason. Every time you take an antibiotic, it will wipe out your friendly bacteria. Your tongue will go white. You may get panic attacks or, you know, other symptoms from taking an antibiotic, which you won't like or your body won't like. Many people, after taking antibiotics, think they're fine and don't do anything to re the gut and get the gut healthy. And doctors don't even tell you to do this as far as I know. So it's really important anytime you do an antibiotic protocol, you do a healing protocol straight afterwards. If you can't afford to see somebody like me, what you can do is do sauerkraut. You can do probiotic drinks and stuff like that in which to heal the gut. So with irritable bowel, when it comes to the mind, and the, the mind-gut connection, meditation, tai chi, slow movement, slow exercise, all these things that can, uh, can help. So what I do is, is that when I'm working with a client, if you look behind me, can you see that yellow picture? That yellow picture represents the third chakra. When the third chakra is out of balance, that's related to your power and self-will. So the gut issue may be coming from the power and self-will as well as there not being friendly bacteria, as well as having fungus and parasites, as well as you not chewing your food enough, or you're just doing a job you fucking hate. Or you're doing things for your family, but not doing it for yourself. So this is where I go into more metaphysical stuff and more spiritual stuff, because I'm a shaman practitioner, and this enables me to go much, much deeper. If you're ready for that, not all clients are ready for the woo-woo stuff, so I don't do it with everybody. So it's really important to get your gut healthy, find out what your gut bacteria is, find out whether you've got any offenders in the body. Now, the only thing with getting lab tests, I've tried a few different companies and some are good and some are bad. So some will miss everything and give you one diagnosis and others will go really, really deep. <laughs> the same as 
what supplements I take, you may get allergic to. So this is really important. So this, this, this video is not for you to self-diagnose. This video is to introduce you to an intensive program that I'm doing with clients in which to help you get over irritable bowel, help you heal your body from adrenal fatigue, help you lose that body fat and get leaner again, and help you to feel much, much healthier again. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, I walk my talk, I train four days a week, I eat organic big food, uh, I drink my body weight in ounces of water, uh, so I've had bug after bug that I've had to get rid of, and slowly but surely it's all worked, and this is how I can help clients at a deeper level, because I'm not just reading it all from books and going, you need to do this, I'm doing it from self-experience and experience with many clients. So if you if you if this is something that you're interested in, please comment at the bottom. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So let's give you five top tips that you can do right away. One, get to bed by 10:30 every night. Two, do dry skin brushing to help the body to detoxify. There's 12 cleanses I take clients through, but that's one of them that you can do straight away. The next one is get a lab test done from somebody like myself or somebody else in which to find out what is going on inside your gut. Uh, four, make sure that you chew your food 30 times before you swallow. You'll find that you will eat much less food so you'll lose weight and you'll find that you'll feel much more fuller, okay? Five, work on your stress levels. Get your stress levels down and make sure that you meditate, take time out in nature, go and have a holiday and you'll find that Everybody that goes on holiday, all their symptoms disappear. So that should tell you that when you're on holiday, you're too stressed in everyday life. So you need to see somebody that can help you with your stress levels, okay? Number six, I said only five, but number six is exercise. Even if you do five minutes a day and you slowly build it up, the more exercise you do, the more healthier you become and the better you'll feel in your body and mind. And remember that the mind is connected to the gut. So if you get your mind feeling better, your gut will feel better. So please don't suffer in silence with irritable bowel. Please comment at the bottom, give me you know, some questions and I will answer your questions as best I can. Please do not self-medicate. If you're self-medicating, then you're just guessing and you may be causing a lot more problems than what you think. The other thing that's really important to understand is that if you do a lab test with me and it comes back that you've got parasites and fungus, your partner will have them, your children may have them, your dog will definitely have them. So you need to think about testing everybody in your family to make sure that they haven't got them, especially if you're making love to your partner, the chances of you reinfesting each other is astronomical. But that's something else I'll talk about in another video. But I hope you've enjoyed this video today. This is the poopy lineup of health, of a healthy gut. This is what you want. You want a poopy policeman. And if you have a poopy policeman, you'll always feel much better. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've watched it till the end. My new book is coming out uh, anytime now. I'm just waiting to get the proof to uh, proofread the book. And then once that's done and we figure out the cover, then the book will be released on Amazon. And the book is called Holistic Health for a Proper Geezer and a Classy Lady. Get the health and, get the health and fitness you want now. And uh, if you want a free copy, comment at the bottom. And if I've got enough left, then I'll send you a free copy. Okay, the next thing, I'm reading uh, Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss there and I, the next video is going to be about that and what I thought of the book. Okay, thanks very much for listening to me today. Hope you have a wonderful day and you've listened right to the end. Please comment, please like the video and please send the video out everywhere. If you've got a friend with IBS, please let them watch it and it could help them and save their life or stop them from being so stressed about their bowel. Okay, thanks very much. Bye-bye. Peace out.